They look good. Great vegetables. Noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass, that's slave labor! Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish. Guys and girls sleep in different tents. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. This gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. It's only for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river.
I just heard. When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play. No, not that kind of squeeze. I guess it's more like Smooshing? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is... I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! than I thought. Anyway. I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much seeing as how we're investigating the case? Sup, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help! No, we're not bringing a war. What's that mean, anyway? talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way! Don't tell me you already... Ah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. 
I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, the bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up close and personal? What does that mean? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then... And then... A girlfriend. Why'd you bring that up? Well, I mean, I gotta get over her sometime. It's like, Senpai was... Wait, no, this isn't supposed to be a serious conversation. Back to the subject! Don't worry about me. What you ought to be worried about is smooshes. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal. Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We got to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are. And when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones? Dude, that's how a perv would react. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you, I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one.
Thanks for waiting. Let's go then. Ah, you're back. Hi there. You want some meal too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. It's delicious though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. But Eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel, after all. Just eat your dinner. Y yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. What's the matter? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he wants one out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi. You were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh. Did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? It's not that I doubt you, but allowing you to get one is something else. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house.
I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. on the first try, just like we planned. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Hi, are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Already? I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I'd better think of a way to convince my sister. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. Make sure you take good care of it. You're always so strict at the station. But you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too, so a car won't be. Would you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Well, anyway, I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Good. I'll hold you to that.
You're back. Hey! I see. Hey! I see.
Yep. Yo. All right, let's go. Welcome home.
All right, let's go home. Welcome back. You're back.
Hey!
If you want, you can change the channel. Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. Huh. That was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okinawa, there... Was this craft shop? It, it's nothing. I'm just just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Then why'd he come with us? You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. 
No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. It is? Wow, I can't believe you said that. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Senpai, can you give me 10 minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better. What are you saying? Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. Now that's my senpai! Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls! That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend, and then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai! If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this!
How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Please! How many times are you gonna beg? So you're gonna call her, right? Right? She picked up! Oh, Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? Oh, I get it! It's you, huh? You rat bastard! You're dead, shitbird! How dare you hit on my curl! I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck! You better not call again, got it? I could hear him from here. Is that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's a risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> Of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing! Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? One more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? What the hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> My motorcycle! Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe.
Whoa! Up close and personal! I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already.